Hello, I recently had a comment from a YouTube user asking me to restart my Drupal series, so that's what we're going to do in this video. Akin to what we did for Drupal 7, we're going to, uh, um, it's, it's, it's still in, it's still in alpha, so not even beta yet, but this is uh, early, early testing, so we're going to look at the ch changes to the installer, seems like a logical place to start. Uh, um, uh, I've done a ser series on Drupal 6 and Drupal 7, so I'm gonna, uh, um, I'll put annotations to those in the video now, so you can check those out. But, but the, the, this is going to be focused on on installing Drupal 8. The first thing to say is is that I, um, like in other videos, I'm running on a, lo a local web server, so when when I when I drag the files into a certain folder on my computer, it's going to be akin to uploading them to a web server. But with that said, let's get started. So I'm on the Drupal.org website. Drupal.org, and it might be tempting just to hit this get big get started with, with Drupal, but but because this is experimental, they, they don't want people using it. So that's just going to direct you to Drupal 7. So to get Drupal 8, what you want to do is Go to this and um, download and extend link up the top here. And instead of again clicking download Drupal 7, you want to click other releases. Uh, and here you can see we have the release information for the Alpha of Drupal 8 updated September 19th of this year. So uh, again, this is actively being developed and certainly isn't done yet. Uh, um, so I'm just going to save a copy of this t to the desktop once that downloads we, we, we have the file so if I uh, open up um, the location where my desktop files are stored Here's the folder with all the Drupal content in it. Now, I want um, this to be an accessible uh, subdirectory called Drupal. So I'm going to put it inside the root of my uh, web directory inside a folder called Drupal. So, like I said, I'm going to drag this into the web directory again. This is akin to up uploading it to your server. I also need to create a, create a database. This, this is akin to what you might do with um, PH, PHP MyAdmin on your server. So I'm just, because Drupal needs a MySQL database to run. So I'm just going to call it Drupal. And the default. Um, Username and password for this server and find the de the default credentials are root and root. So obviously you wouldn't leave that on a live server, but for this it's fine. So if we go to the where this server is, which is localhost. Eight eight eight, we said we we're gonna leave the files inside a folder called Drupal. So if I refresh this, there's now a folder called Drupal there, and if we hit this, it's gonna start the automated installer. So you can see we've got got a new, a new theme here. There's not actually much new on this installer, but it's a nice, um, a nice new theme. We've got the two installation profiles that we we saw introduced in the last version of Drupal. The minimal um, installation profile is even more minimal than the previous one. So. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, we're, we're going to install the standard version. Um, I've done this once before. Uh, um, once before, it's, it's actually got the, the, the wrong details. So we need to um, 
specify a database name. And username and password. If we hit save and continue, should should just install. No faffing about with file permissions or files directories like uh, you might have done in previous versions. It it just Installs without any problem. Um, give it a second here. Okay, so we're back, and just like in previous episodes of the it's asking us to fill in some base information. So we're just gonna give it an email address to use. And a, a, a username and a, and a, a password. Clearly, in, in production, you'd use, you'd use more secure passwords than this, but I'm just demonstra demonstrating it. So you can change the time zone if you want and, and ch change how updated status works. So, if you want to know, they get updates to modules, you get email notifications. Um, but with a lot done, you can just hit save and continue. So it's that easy. You already have an installed functional version of Drupal. So in the next video, we're going to look at what some of the differences are here. As you can see, there's differences in the theme and the way things are laid out, the default theme. So anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more. Um, Drupal tutorial videos and yeah thanks for watching bye